to to accept total freedom. You also have to accept total responsibility um, to build. And to accept the responsibility to build, you also have to accept the risk of being destroyed. And lastly, if you accept the risk of being destroyed, that means that you also have to accept the role of being the barrier that stands in between what you've built and what seeks to destroy you. And that's why violence and freedom go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. And I think that's an, that is an important distinction to make. Because people talk about, oh, I want to be free, I want to be free, I want to, you know, have freedom, I want to have freedom of all these things. But there's so many risks that come with freedom that the comfort of lack of freedom provides. And a lot of people are not prepared to accept that responsibility. And that's why a lot of people forgo their own freedoms because it is a lot of responsibility. Everything falls on you. Everything falls on your shoulders. If you make it, if you don't make it, it's all on you. And that takes a lot of agency. And it takes a lot of guts. But you have to have the understanding of what it takes. Um, but you can't, you can't build, you can't delude yourself and say, oh, I want to build this without the opposite force of knowing that something is out there trying to destroy you. And so you have to be that barrier. And that barrier is multiple forms in the capability of violence to protect and aggress. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, You want freedom on all of these fronts. Well, how are you going to be the barrier on all of those fronts? You want freedom in a physical there in a in a physical space. Motherfucker, <laughs> the physical space is is violent. <laughs> You go out in the street, you go into some fucking unknown territory, wherever, anything could happen. Anything could happen. <laughs> and you want freedom on the spiritual you know, you're floating in fucking nowhere because you get out of the comforts of religion. You get outside the comforts of the prescribed beliefs. And it's not always clear what you should and shouldn't believe. 
and it fucks you up when those beliefs, when you put beliefs against other beliefs and the views that you held get destroyed for a higher, superior, alternative belief that is better suited or, or better conducive to your goals. But it's tough, bro. It's fucking tough. And if that's truly what you want, you know, once you get a taste of it, it does feel good. It does feel good. And that saying, you know, an old uh, 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 <clears throat> a mind once stretched to new dimensions, it can't go back to its old ways. For every increment of freedom that you experience, it just makes the return back to an experience that's not free and authentic that much more difficult to return to. This is one of the reasons why I think people struggle in general a lot. Especially in modern society, because if you think about it, Every single aspect of society is already predetermined by another man. The road that you choose to take physically and metaphorically, you know, you're driving down the road, you make a left, you make a right, you make a U-turn, whatever. <laughs> you go to the shopping center, or whatever. All of these things are constructed by men. And you can never be free inside of another man's mind. You can never obtain true freedom inside of another man's mind. That's just, it's just not possible. But all of society is built upon the minds of other men. But that's why people go and seek out nature in the mountains, in the oceans, on the water, in the sand, in the desert. They seek out these experiences as high quality experiences because they're free experiences in, in, their, in their physical experience of what it is. When you go in a mountain, there is no predetermined path for you to walk. I mean, sometimes, yeah, sure. But you go off the path, you're there, you're out, you're exposed. You know, and that engages you with the present. You know, I'm watching these guys windsurfing and everything like that. They're in the elements. They're exposed to the ups and downs, the waves, the freedom, the chaos of nature. But it's solving that in being in, in that moment, you're completely engaged. In the modern in in modern civilization or society, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> when everything is predetermined, every route, every action, every decision, etc., there is no room for you to engage. There's no room for you to 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 be in the experience of the moment because it doesn't require you to. It doesn't require you to. It doesn't require you to have a direct feedback with the moment. And therefore, what that allows is for your mind to start feedbacking in itself. And you get all these mental health problems. Because people are disengaged with <coughs> the outside world. It's very important. It's very, very, very important.
to engage with what you're doing. So many people do things that they're not there. They're somewhere else. <clears throat> Meaning that you could be sitting at an office desk, right? You could be sitting doing something, you could be in a conversation or whatever. And sure, you might be there physically, but mentally, where are you? You're not there. You're consumed in some other thing, in some other thought, in some other realm that takes you away from the present moment. But if you want to be in the present moment, you got to be ready to deal with the chaos that comes with it, the emotions that you don't want to feel. So you go somewhere else, but really, you got to be right there to feel them right there. <clears throat> That's the only way to break through. That's the only way to break the barrier. It's to be right where you are. That's where you get the answers. You're not anywhere else. And you can only do that by chasing true freedom. On every single plane, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional <laughs> get some fucking sun bro <laughs> get some fucking sun always trust nature before you trust man that's my advice always trust nature before you trust man Anything man-made is just a replication of nature, of what already exists in, in, in nature. So it can't be superior. <laughs> it literally cannot be superior. How can the duplicate or the copy be superior to the original? Can't. Can't. 